Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. He's the man Talkers Magazine says is one of the most important talk show hosts in America. We tell you over and over again that you're wonderful and you just don't get it. What's wrong with you? He's Jim Blassingame, our small business advocate. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. My pleasure to continue to be with you as always. Rich Galen is with us. Rich is our good friend, longtime Brain Trust member, going back now, what, uh, about, uh, I don't know how many, but over 10 years, probably 11 years or so. And Rich is, uh, he's a political operative of the Republican persuasion. That means he spins to the right. And he's here to talk to us about something very important. Oh, by the way, his, his thrice weekly cyber column is outstanding, mullings.com. Rich, welcome back to the show. Thank you, sir. How are you? Doing great. It's good to have you back. Happy Hanukkah. Merry Christmas. Thank you, and to you. Hey, Rich, um, something happened in, over the last week and ha- week or so that uh, was was very just def- well, just interesting to me, and and I knew it was to you and, and to so many people, and that was basically what what they're calling the end of the Iraq War, and uh, after like what eight and a half years, and uh, and the the coming out of Iraq by. American forces, and you obviously have a vested interest in that. You spent uh, the better part of a year over there as a civilian, helping them, helping the, that that country get their feet on the ground. That that, uh, that fledgling country, and a great service to to the world, not just to us in Iraq. And uh, and and you and you joined us many times while you were over there to give us a report on how things are going. And I'd like to have your thoughts on what's going on over there right now. Well, I, I'm torn because on the one hand. Uh, and then you know, because you had a son who fought there, uh, that there's nothing, there's nothing about a war that that the warriors like, uh, other than get it, other than ending it and getting mm-hmm. home again. Um, and so, for the uh, especially the young the young people, uh, I'm I'm glad that they were. I'm glad we had drawn down. I'm glad they they began, they were able to come out. On a policy side, though, Jim, I'm not at all sure that this is going to last. Uh, they're surrounded by, uh, at least on two borders, by people that don't like them, the Iraqis, and the Iranians are crazy. Uh, and uh, with the with what's going on in Syria, uh, it's so unstable that uh, it's not clear that uh, that the Iraqi that the Iraqis are going to be able to defend their borders uh, either from within or without. I mean, it, you know, it's it's a it's a very very dangerous place. The uh, the the democracy that we helped instill is is working. I'm just not sure the right leaders have been found yet mm-hmm. to be able to sustain this. And uh, and I think everybody's fear is that uh, you know it's some somewhere down the road and not very far down the road uh, that uh, that we're going to be faced with some very difficult decisions. The concern that I have in Afghanistan when we left and then we had to go back. The concern that I have exactly the concern that I have in Iraq. Is that we pulled out for some some uh, U.S. centric po- political uh, reason and not for uh, the 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 evidence on the ground in Iraq? Of course, Rich, like you, I don't want any any more of our young men and women to go over there and 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 to pay any more than than we've already paid. But at the same time, I want to say to I want to say to our policymakers and to Iraq's policymakers. You know, based on what we've spent already, the, the precious cost that has, has come to us, earn this. Make sure that, that whatever we spent doesn't doesn't uh, isn't wasted. Now that's the thing. That's the concern that I have, as you as you indicated. And and Rich, to me, I think we, we may be making the same mistakes that we made during the war, and that's not protecting the Iraqi borders from those those two uh, east and west sides. That's right, and uh, and it's it, it also. You know, it, it, at, at some point you start looking like France. You know, you just go do things. The, the only the only reason you do things is because you think it's your your own national interest, not right. because it's in the interests of humanity or, you know, I mean, and it sounds kind of grand and kind of overstated, but 
the, 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 the reality of the world is that we are, we are the world's policemen, like it or not, and we have a responsibility to make sure that, um, that the, the world that we've helped create, we don't suddenly just turn our back on and say, well, we're tired of doing this. We don't want to do this anymore. So that's exactly gonna... right. And, and that's my concern. And for those people who gave so much, those families who lost so much, the horrible thing that happened to them the, uh, by, by paying this price would be compounded if it turns out that all that was for naught. And, and I just hope that that somehow gets in the, in the minds of the people who are making these decisions. And, uh, and also, Rich, I know you joined me in reminding people that we still have many, many men and women in harm's way in uh, more than one place on planet Earth. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, let's and never forget. Afghanistan's right, not not so far away. Let's never forget the folks. Is even though it's not big in the news anymore, we still have patriots, brave Americans, standing a post on our behalf. God bless them. God be with them. Twenty till. I'm Jim Blasting and Rich Galen and I will be right back. <laughs> Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.